Hello and welcome to another edition of Mailbag. What is Mailbag? Well, Mailbag is a feature of the channel where you guys leave lots of comments on the channel and I attempt to answer those comments or if I can't answer those comments, I throw it out to you guys who have more knowledge on some of this stuff than I do. So, let's get into the first Mailbag of this session. Remember, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Go over to Instagram and follow me there. Go over to Facebook, follow me there. That's where the normal notices are. And consider becoming a Patreon. The next comment or question comes from The Death Beats. Uh, in response to music workstations crafted solely for their purpose, a mailbag I did in January 2023. Uh, and the Death Beats writes, I'm certainly no expert on workstations. I've never owned one. I always wanted a W30 back in the day, but by the time I had the money for a second-hand unit, I was already using Cubase. I'm curious to know what the advantage average workstation user thinks of native instruments machine. The reason I ask is that whenever the subject of workstations is brought up, people always jump on the fact they have very limited compared to working with a modern day door. As far as I'm aware, for example, it would be possible to make modern day electronic tunes from any genre of music with a traditional workstation keyboard and an engineer. It would be standard for other producers who are using doors. Machine bridges the gap by keeping the workflow, hard, workflow hardware based but allowing the users to work with modern plugins. With all that in mind, why would people who prefer using a physical workstation not jump onto machine as opposed to old school cork generally interested and don't have a dog in the fight regarding machine cheers? Well, basically you pose a very, very interesting question and I definitely have a view uh, on this. But on this occasion, you know what? I'm not gonna give my view across. I actually want to see if people will jump onto this question and give their views on whether using software-based door architecture or hardware-based architecture or hybrid architecture to produce their tunes is the way to go. Now, I personally think, I'm not gonna give my view. Actually, I'm, I'm really not gonna give my view. If you watch the channel regularly, you probably know what my view is, but I'm not going to give my view on this one. I really want to see what you guys think about this. Next comment or question comes from Chris Wilson. Uh, this is in response to connecting the Roller ARIA modules together, TR3, TR, sorry, TR3, TB3, TR8, System 1. Uh, a video I did way back in December 2015. And uh, Chris writes, Hiya, so in regards to connecting a PC, do I USB out of the TR8S and the TB3, or do I just USB out of one of them? I did have a Behringer TD3 MIDI to my TR8S, USB to my PC and then audio to my mixer. That did work, but I wasn't sure if it was correct or not. Any advice would be great. Uh, um, I would say, with all these things, work out where your master clock source is. Um, and it also really depends on how you want to work with the units. Um, but the way I would connect the TR8 and the Roland TB3 and potentially the, Ro the Behringer uh, TD3 is into a USB hub and then from the USB hub connected to the computer. If you do it that way, all the outputs on the devices will be shown on the computer. Um, so you'll be able to see the eight outputs on the TR8. Eight outputs? Eight outputs on the TR8. Uh, I think it's two outputs on the TB3. I'm not sure what the TD3 is. Um, but you'll see all those outputs for putting into your, uh, your computer mixer if you're doing it that way, or into a separate mixer, you can just come out the back of the units. Um, now this configuration will present all the audio channels as I've just said, um, and it also presents all 16 channels of MIDI um, to the door. 
separately. So you could actually route MIDI to each one of the devices separately. Um, if your computer and your software is able to route on separate USB ports, separate MIDI channels. Um, so you can go through that, that kind of way. Um, it just gives you flexibility, I think. That's probably what I'm trying to say, is you get more flexibility doing it that way rather than trying to USB and daisy chain. Now the Roland, Roland stuff will probably work, but any other manufacturers, it's more hit, more miss than hit, um, which is what I've said on the channel before. Some things work, some things don't. Um, but I can't say what does work and what doesn't work. Uh, by the way, the new SH4 from Roland does work with MX1. Gary, ha Gary from the Death Beats has confirmed that to me because he has an SH4. Uh, anyway, as I say, the problem with Daisy Chaining MIDI is the the units are acting as a hub. You better off just using as a using the hub rather than relying on f Roland's firmware um, and by plugging it into the computer, you basically are affirming that that's the way it's going to work. Um, it also helps when trying to troubleshoot if you're going direct to the computer, because you just unplug one of the units to find out if it's affecting the other units, or if you've got the configuration on your computer set up incorrectly. Um, so that makes it easier, rather than trying to chain the units from one unit to another unit, and then trying to work out which unit is not behaving itself, whether it's the, the source, the inter intermediate unit or the computer, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Now, I hope that helps with setup queries. I get asked setup queries all the time um, relating to this, especially around MIDI, because in the in the age of USB, USB, which I actually think complicates things more more than actually helps things, the old five pin DIN MIDI seems to baffle some people, and I can understand that as well because whereas USB is bi directional when you plug it in it goes both ways up the cable with five pin din midi it's unidirectional it goes from the source to the target and doesn't go from the target to the source that's the reason why you have three sockets on the back of all legacy legacy synthesizers for that specific reason hope that helps <laughs>